Well, what I'm pretty excited about right now is um, my kid's um, baseball team. He's a junior this year in baseball. Um, they're um, got a they're going to be ranked number one. They're going to be they got a chance to win state this year. So I'm um, really excited about going and watching them do that. And um, I'm also putting in my new office in my in my house in a new location with the door to the outside and making it really clean looking and um, getting that whole thing. So it's really kind of a big game changer for me. Well, that's a good question. Um, the reason why I'm currently a modpreneur is that um, I was in the construction field for um, well, since 2007. Um, um, I realized about in, what in 2006, not, not, not 2006, excuse me, 2016, um, I was going to um, wear out and I wasn't going to be able to do construction forever. And the only thing I was going to have left over was, this, you know, a wore out body and all these broken down tools. So I was looking into doing something different. Um, I actually started uh, another, another business, but it was, I was building it to sell and I'm going to probably sell that here in, in the next year. And then um, at the same time, I was just trying to find long-term and that's where I ran into um, Mod Financial here about two years ago. And um, it's been exciting and real exciting. It's great. Um, it's, it's really, it's really taken off and I can see it going further into the future. Uh, the people I want to connect with are, are similar to me, um, just the small business owners, either be in construction or not. But to realize that um, when you have your own, say your name brand, like my construction company was Corey News Construction, um, no one's buying Corey News Construction. The only thing I would have is, like I said, those wore out tools and equipment and whatnot. It's really worth nothing. That's not a retirement plan. Um, you'd have to have a huge company to have it go anywhere forward to make any money on it in retirement. So the smaller the businesses are, the more they need to plan for the retirement. And so this was just really a good fit for me. And I, I would really want to go out and reach out to these small business owners in construction, be it probably the most. That's where I connect with. And then just help them see what their financial future looks like and help them get to where they need to be when they retire. Uh, so what's next for me in 2022? Um, I'm just so ready for 2022. Um, like I'm going to sell to my other business I started. Um, and, and I'm going to be able to focus solely on Mod Financial and really getting it to really take off and, and hit the ground running with it. It's, um, it's, I think it's going to be a great year um, for a lot of different reasons. Um, like I said before, 2022 is going to be a great year for my son in baseball. He's still got, you know, another year there to, to play again. So uh, just keep following through with, with what my son does and, and making Mod Financial my new business and my new goal and helping all those families that I can help reach theirs.